warning there. It says, warning when you go ahead and do a set of rear brakes. I already removed the tires. I already loosened up the tension on the brake shoes. I undid the slack adjuster, remove all the pressure off of it. And uh, I'm going to be using these basic simple tools. Oh, with the exception of, of course, impact and uh, air jack. But these are the tools that I'm going to be using to remove those shoes and install new ones on them. Uh, I'm going to try and do this two times. This one became a little more than what I thought. The hub seal is leaking, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that. But there's two springs here. All you do, all I do, is pop in a screwdriver and pop that spring out of the way. I do the same for the inside one. So you got these two springs out. I grab this extension and just kind of loosen these up. And then I just kind of grab the brake shoe and pop them right off. these out. These are garbage. We got new ones. And that's it there guys. And then look. Bad seal. So let me go ahead and get this removed and cleaned up. Install new seal on there. And I'll show you how I put the brakes back on. that uh hub nut the locking thing. Well guys I'm gonna go ahead and take that over to the park washer and get it washed up. Clean this area out so that I can go ahead and install that seal, install those brake shoes, and put this thing back together. Well guys, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this seal with no special tools, just uh, old school style, just a flat screwdriver and a ball pin hammer. I set the screwdriver on the side of it, puncture, hold into the seal and basically I pry up, rotate the sucker, do the same on the other side. doing that until the seal actually comes out. There we go. That's that. And the new one, a little different, but oops. 
this is not the one. Well, I had to go out there and purchase a new seal. The one we had here for some reason was not the same. This one here is. Uh, let me go ahead. Normally, we press these in. We use a like a four-inch flange. I'm gonna do it like if we didn't have it, like if we're doing it on the side of the road or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it the old school way, which is just hammer it in. So you don't beat up the new seal. We will go ahead and place that old seal on there and hammer it instead of the new one. I tighten it up till the hub wants to and then I just kind of close it up these two little flanges grab the rear nut and it'll lock the back nut and then you put on your other and it'll kind of lock up both nuts to where when you tighten I don't use a torque wrench anymore there's our hub After we put the washers on, we get our nuts. And uh, after we do this, guys, once we're done with the. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and set those brakes in. Uh, I already have the spring. Uh, I, I always started with a blue spring, the primary. And basically, I got both brakes dangling with the spring. I kind of put them over get the this lower one there and then I just kind of set the brake shoes in place all right let me go to the other side now here guys I take the orange springs I set it up on top and bottom uh, loosely I mean Right now, there's no tension whatsoever. So, I mean, uh, basically, if, if you tap on the spring, it'll fall off. So, I'll just get them on there. I take this little, uh, it's like a three foot extension, half inch. And as I lift, I push in, and there's the top one, and I put the bottom, I always leave the bottom for last, I just think it's easier to push down on the pry bar. Lock it in place push down on it now the spring is going to be putting a little bit of tension make sure the springs are in place front and back and while well, you're done guys brakes are in installed and well guys the rest is pretty easy bring in your new drum And 
Here you go, guys. Hub seal and rear brakes. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead. Call it done here. I appreciate you guys watching. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe.